Hey Libra, it's about that time for your May prediction. It's about that time. This reading is going to be for my Libras. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. As always, take what resonates and leave what doesn't. If this reading doesn't resonate for you, make sure you check out your other placements. The only other signs I have up right now is Pisces, Aquarius, Capricorn, Sagittarius, and Scorpio. You can also book your personal reading through the link in my my description box which is my website um this reading that i'm doing for you guys is a service on my website it is called monthly financial and love check that out if you'd like now i'm just gonna dive right on in you guys um libra you're uh if you're separated from your love interest that kind of reading is actually up on my channel already. Just head over to the live tab. It's a live stream video or live stream reading. Head over to the live tab. Your sign is already up. The only other signs I have left to upload, I think is Aquarius and Pisces. Hold on, let me, let me double check. Let me double check, let me double check. Yeah, Aquarius and Pisces is the only signs I have left to do. Your reading is already up and all the other signs is already up except Aquarius and Pisces. So definitely make sure you check that out if you'd like. If you're separated from your love interest, if there's a lack of communication, if you guys have broken up, check that reading out. It may help give you some um, insight on what's to come, what's been happening with them since the separation and things like that. So let's dive into the reading, you guys. So my Libras. My Libras, what can they expect from their finances this month in May, May 2024? What can they expect? Ooh, child. If you're single, you can expect to meet a provider. It don't even matter if it's a woman. She's, she's the type of woman that's going to help multiply. Multiply your finances, multiply your businesses, multiply your streams of income. This type of woman that's going to help you some way, somehow. But... You are going to meet someone who's a provider. They're going to give you money. They're going to help you out with their with your bills. This is the type of person where it's like they view you as like an extension of their self, if that makes sense. It's like if you're the love of my life or if I'm dating you, if I'm having sex with you, why would I have you struggle? Why would I have you, you know, not making as much as me or not being as successful as I am? I see, I see you're going to meet a provider. You're either dealing with a provider currently or you will be meeting a provider Aries, Taurus energy here. We also have fire sign, Leo, Sagittarius, Aries, heavy Aries energy here. But hell yeah, this is somebody that's going to want to provide for you. For others of you, um, your love interest, if you're dealing with someone currently, your love interest is going to come towards you with like, not necessarily an ultimatum, but I guess you can say like an, an idea, a decision. They're basically going to tell you like, I want to start baby making and you know, you don't have to work if you know, I, I put a baby in you or vice versa. Like, I just see something about them saying, like, I, I got the bills. I got the money. I got the bills. I want to start a family. If I take care of the bills for the time being, like, can we start a family? Something like that. Something like that. Tell me more. I know that's right. Yeah. Money is going to be coming in for you. Um, that could be the case about like the whole baby thing, but it could also be your love interest wants to put you in school. They may want to put you in school or help pay for some courses, some type of courses, classes, certificates. I just see you're either going to be dealing with someone or meeting someone who is going to want to invest in you. They're going to want to invest in your business, in your craft, in your ideas, in your business ventures. Like they are going to want to invest in you. I really like this reading. Okay. Okay, Libra, not you got a provider, not you got somebody that wants to help you grow, not somebody that wants to see you be successful. I'm telling you, this person, and I feel like for the ones that, like, you could be dealing with someone currently who's pretty stingy or who's pretty selfish, and it's sort of like going to be like a 160 or 180, like, they're going to change completely into someone who wants to help you grow, help you become successful. But I see, I see you either meeting somebody or dealing with somebody that is going to be investing in you. I'm telling you. Clarification on this four of wands. For some of y'all, this could be your baby mother, your baby father. You could already have a, a, a family with this person. I'm telling you, I feel like this person is going to tell you that they want a family. It's either you already have a family with this person or they're going to tell you that they want a family. It's something about like their their family is, I don't want to say toxic, but they're not really close with their family. They're not, 
their their family isn't really healthy for them i say they're very distant from their family and that's making them want to start their own family with you for others of you you may experience family issues some type of family drama it could even be god forbid but your family kicking you out or something like that and this person they're going to want to invest in you so you don't have to rely on anyone so you don't have to stress about how you're going to make ends meet for some of y'all, you're going to be involved in, a, um, I don't want to say a toxic family situation, but I just see you being involved in, in drama with your family where something about you're getting kicked out or something about, you know, they're doing some things against you that affects your finances. It could be, you know, they take a car back or it could be they kick you out. Something that's going to affect your finances and this person, they're basically going to put you on. They're going to put you on game. They're going to help you out. And their purpose of doing that is to make sure you don't rely on anyone, not even them. And I could respect the fuck out of that. Like, well, you gonna help me so I could be financially stable, so I could be independent. You know, there's there's people out there that, man, listen, there's people out there where that money or that help comes at a cost. Even I personally, in my early 20s, I, date somebody, I dated somebody that took care of me and that money came at a cost. That them taking care of me came at a cost. I didn't ask. They willingly did it. But I didn't know at the time that shit comes with a cost. It could be abusive. It could be controlling. It could be um, them trying to dictate your moves, how you dress, who you're around, this and that. Like just possessive as hell, controlling as hell, toxic as hell. It's like that, that money, that help comes at a cost. This here, it doesn't. They're doing it out of the kindness of their heart. They're doing it out of the love that they have for you. And I respect the fuck out of that. I like this person. Tell me more. Some of y'all, this doesn't have to be somebody you're dealing with. It could possibly be someone platonic, but it could be coming up as somebody that you're dealing with or somebody that you will be dealing with romantically because they may have feelings for you as well. You have the chariot, Sagittarius energy here. Yeah, see something about you moving, something about you're going to be getting a new car, a new car, something about a move. This person may try to co-sign for you, co-sign on an apartment, co-sign on a loan, co-sign for a car, something about co-signing or um, just trying to help you with some type of move. You could meet this person when you move, if you guys are moving to a different city, a different state, you could meet this person when you move and they show you around town and help you out, you know? I know that's right. I know that's right. This person, they enjoy giving a helping hand. This is the type of person that their love language is acts of service. They like to service people. They like to help people. That's how they show their love. I really like this person. I really, really, really like this person for you. That's a good ass reading. I know that's right, Libra. I know that is right, child. All right, so let's get into your to your love because it's, it's low key coming out as love. So let's get into your love. What can my my Libras expect from their love life? This May, May 2024, what can they expect from their love life? You're going to meet somebody who has a fear of commitment. It could be this person, I'm not going to lie. Because we have fear of commitment, right? And I'm not saying that this is why it could be this person. Uh, this is why I'm saying this could be this person. We have intentional pregnancy, planned pregnancy, sex with intentions of conceiving a child. I literally said something about this person. They're going to want to get you pregnant or they're going to want to have a child with you. And they'll tell you like, oh, I'll put you through school or just something, something, something. It's like they sort of want to. Um, what the hell is the word I'm looking for? I hate when I when I have it on the tip of my tongue, but I can't freaking come up with it. That shit pissed me off so bad. But no, it's something like. um. It's not a damn ultimatum and it's not a damn idea what the hell is the term it's on my tongue but basically i just see this person it's like okay like if we start a family i'll put you through school if we start a family you know i'll invest in a business for you like it's something where this person is like they want to do a trade and trade isn't the word that i'm looking for but we're going to use that because that's the closest they want to do like a trade with you like oh yeah you know if we start a family you know I'll invest in your business. Just something about wanting to start a family. But either way it goes, whether it's this person or someone else, um, you in May, you can expect someone wanting to get you pregnant. But this person has a fear of commitment. So this could be a situation ship or this could be the type of person that, you know, they view marriage as too serious. And, you know, they, they view it as more serious than a pregnancy. 
they would rather get you pregnant than propose. They would rather get you pregnant than sign that damn marriage license. Tell me more about this person. Who is this person? How will my viewers know? Damn, that card flew. <laughs> King of Swords, reverse, air sign energy, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. We have the hanging man. We got a Libra energy, heavy Libra energy. King of Swords reversed. This person, you're gonna know who this person is because they try to act nonchalant. They try their hardest to act nonchalant, but it doesn't work because they're not nonchalant. Like this person, they're very passionate. They're very emotional. But they try to put on a facade as if they're nonchalant and they're careless and they be unbothered. No, they're not. No, they're not. No, they're not. Tell me more. Tell me more about this person. This person could be a Sagittarius um, or have Sagittarius or Cancer placements. Something about a car here. They might have a nice car. They may be getting a new car in May or they have a nice car. Or this might be the type of person that travels a lot for work. Like maybe, you know... Not necessarily vacations, but they're always traveling for work, going to different cities, states, countries for work. Something about traveling is very significant here. They're always out and about. Tell me more. At times, they can be very mean. I feel like at times... They tend to let their past get the best of them. At times, they tend to reminisce on how they were betrayed, how they were lied to, how they were abandoned. They tend to reminisce on the past pain from past re relationships and friendships. And at times, they can take that out on you. That's how you'll know who this person is. It's like uh, things could be cool and then out of nowhere, they start blowing up on you. And it's like they don't really mean to. It just happens because they're... um. They're a little, they're a little emotional when it comes to their past. But this person, they're very ambitious. They may go to school or they may own multiple businesses or they may be the type of person that just loves researching things. They love learning about how to, um, like new ways to make money or they just love learning about, about multiplying, um, money businesses opportunities they love networking like this is the type of person that they just love researching things first I, I don't know why i got um realtor in my head i heard realtor as a channel message this person could be a realtor or they could go to school or be just researching about realty real estate i mean i don't know And something about a, a hamster or a, a, a guinea pig, maybe even a mouse. <laughs> Tom and Jerry. <laughs> all right, all right. Tell me more about their love life for May, though. I'm telling you, bro, you're going to have somebody spending money on you. They're going to be fucking spending money on you. For some of y'all, if you were recently betrayed by your love interest, by someone you're dealing with, they will be spending on you to make up for that. It's like instead of actually changing their ways or, or providing an actual apology, they're going to be spending on you. It's like, oh, my Libra will love this expensive watch. My Libra will love this, these Gucci shoes. My Libra will love, you know, some money. My Libra, my Libra will love if I pay their rent. That, that will get them to forgive me like, like that. Mm. All right, so let's get some advice for you uh, regarding um, your May, Libra. Let's get some advice for my Libras. Ciao, I knew, I knew it was going to be this card. We have the card Chantel. The name Chantel could be significant, but the angel card that came out is Chantel. And it states, new romance is imminent. I hope I'm pronouncing it right. Either with a newcomer or through reignited passion in your existing relationship. Be open to giving and receiving love. I'm telling you, I'm telling you, be open to this. Accept the helping hand, accept the help, accept the money, accept the knowledge even. 
New romance is imminent, either with a newcomer or through reignited passion in your existing relationship. Be open to giving and receiving love. I'm ending the reading off here because that's literally your confirmation. Like, not only was your financial reading love-based, but your love reading went hand in hand with that financial reading. I'm telling you, I'm telling you, you're, you're, things are going to be going well within your love life and your finances in May. But this is the end of the reading, you guys. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you for supporting. Make sure you hit that like button if you haven't already. Make sure you subscribe if you haven't already as well. Thank you for the support, you guys. Um, once again, if you'd like to book your personal reading, you can do so through the link in my description box. It's my website. Um, this reading that I did for you guys is a service on there already called Monthly Financial and Love. Check that out if you'd like or check out my other services. But this is the end of the reading. Have a great day, great night, you guys. Bye.